first thing we're doing is we have a public hearing for the final public hearing for the Vermont Community Development Program funds. And I'm wondering, did you want to speak uh, about that? Well, I think Amy is the briefly. Yeah, you can go to the mic. The microphone. Yeah. The mic doesn't work for this room, but it does work for anybody that's on Zoom. It just doesn't right. amplify your voice. Exactly. It's okay. not, not intended to work for this. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Exactly. right. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been behind a mic before, so <laughs> okay. well, I won't break out in song and dance. Um, it does. I'm Amy Doner. I work with Evernorth, um, and we're partnered up with the Lamoille Housing Partnership to um, construct the 24 units of housing on 26 Hutchins Street, Village Center Apartments, what we call it. And um, as you, and the select board probably knows, but for the, the public, we applied for um, community development block grants that are administered through the Vermont Community Development Program to fund the um, the construction project and it's actually the town as folks kind of doing a little bit of an education here but the um, CDBG funds actually come through the town so they are awarded to the town and then sub granted to the partnership that the housing partnership and um, ever north form so um, we are here as we've completed the project and we've met all of our requirements for the project, um, there are certain beneficiary requirements we had as part of the BCDP grant, um, and um, in the end, we actually exceeded what we thought we were going to do, and that we're actually housing. I think we said 24, and it's actually 28 residents, and here we go, and 20 um, low and mod income households. We thought we were going to be doing 18, so we're really proud of doing that so it's fully occupied and um and again we've met all of our beneficiary requirements so um as part of the grant um we are it we're doing this final hearing and then have a final report because the completion date is the end of december so <laughs> we've finally gotten across the finish line so this is really an opportunity i just want to give a little bit of background so people know but this is an opportunity if anyone has any comments or questions about the project I think you already addressed it, but money basically is a pass through. It comes into the town. Yes. We hold the funds and then we disperse the funds. So we don't get any benefit from the funds. It doesn't go into our, um, we, we can't spend that money. It's, it's, so I just want to make that clear yeah. to the, to the public that yeah. even though the funds sit in our account, they are not our, it's not our money. Right. And they, I think they only sat in the account for 10 days. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. There were requirements about that. Okay. That's absolutely right. So they just are, it's a pass through the, the town. Right, thank yeah. You. <laughs> so you, you kind of answered this already, but, yeah. but it is under full occupancy right now. Yeah. And we've how been, long has that been going on for? Um, let's see. I haven't been on the front lines with our property management group, um, but at, I could say at least, I think at least a month that it might be fully occupied so we just complete um, as you all know the history of the project and the devastating fire that we had um, we just finished construction you know the rebuild after the fire um, at the i think it was the end of july early august if i'm not mistaken so we've done actually our property management group alliance property management and just a shout out to them they did an exceptional job of like getting at least up because it's quite an involved process and um, going through with qualifying all of our residents, so um, they did a great job, and yeah, we're filling this stuff. Is there retail on the first floor? There's not retail on the floor, first okay. floor. Yes, there's, there's a commercial space, yeah, but it's not. Commercial space, yeah. it's, be an office. it's an office. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Great. So, if anyone has any questions, no. Thank you for your work. We were hoping you wouldn't notice. It's the engineering. Does anyone uh, on Zoom or in the room have any questions?
Hi, Evelyn Throne, Marsville. Not really a question, although I've, you know, I'm sure that there are things I don't know about the project. Um, but I'm just really pleased, and I want to, you know, just I, I know several residents I've talked to, and it's changed their lives, and they're just thrilled. They think it's beautiful inside. The apartment's simple but beautiful, and I think the outside is the same thing. And I think it's a good addition to the town and you know very very needed there's some just people that i'm really fond of that i'm very happy that they have good housing now thank you so i think do we have to keep this open for a certain period of time no. oh we no. don't no this no. is okay. it you may you may close it unless there are any other questions no anyone else so we can close the hearing of the vermont community development fund Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. You don't have to worry about flooding where you are. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a lot of fallout flooding on the road. <laughs> so I'd like to call the select board meeting to order. And before we start, just to remind people, there's a note on the agenda about the um, discussion. We'll take comments from the public on the agenda items to be taken for two minutes per person which each person being allowed to speak a second time after everyone in attendance has had a chance to be heard. The community comment agenda item provides an opportunity for the community members to speak once for two minutes each to share their perspective with the select board. For topics raised that are not on the agenda, the select board may answer a question, but one should not expect a two-way dialogue or any actions to be taken. The board will listen carefully to inform if the topic may be included in future agendas. We're also re requesting respectful behavior and language is expected by all who participate in our select board meetings. So um, are there any changes to the uh, agenda? Yes, we are adding the road naming um, request under, oh, Todd and I talked about it, but under the planning council portion of the meeting. And you have packets in front of you um, with some of the details. Thank you. All right, I'd like to um, ask for a motion to approve the minutes from December 4th, 2023. So moved. I have a motion, I have a second. I'll second. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? I had one to add, and that was Evelyn and Jerry thrown in attendance they came a little late and i know jerry spoke at the meeting pretty sure that that was the fourth yes or was it last week no, it wasn't last week okay so i was correct um any discussion all those in favor aye, aye. a motion to approve minutes from december 11th 2023 so moved a second I have a motion and a second any discussion all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion is passed. Minutes approved. New business, errors and emissions certificate. Terry's on the Terry, is that you online? And if so, can you unmute? There we go. Yes, I'm here. Perfect. Go ahead. Uh, the errors and emissions was for a current use issue and uh, the people had purchased a budding land so we had to join it and the certificate that they applied with the state was one acre off from what we had so the state told me that i had to fix it this year um, so I took the acre off, it made a $500 difference. Um, current use has been very shorthanded. This could have been taken care of six months ago, but it didn't. They got new people in there. Um, they told me I had to do it this year because it was for the 2023 grand list. So it's just a uh, one acre difference out of uh, 302 acres. So that's all it was. Okay, thank you. I would move to um, accept the errors and emissions certificate for um, the Scott Green, uh, Emily and Scott Green Family Trust reduction of their overall um, value due to current use discrepancy of $500. Mm -hmm. 
Have a motion of a second? I'll second. Have a motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion has passed. Number two, Conservation Commission appointments. <coughs> Ron Stankler, Chair of the Morristown Conservation Commission. I have one person up on uh, Zoom, that's Sandra Zebel, which uh, unfortunately the Gauss Road is not too passable, and that's where she lives. Uh, my other lady is here, and that's Pam Stanion. Okay, nice to meet you, we had two vacancies about two months ago. We put an ad on the front porch forum, and these two ladies and a couple others responded. And uh, they attended our last meeting, but they also provided ahead of time uh, resumes that we could look at. And so uh, I'm looking to have the board fill them in tonight so they can meet with us uh, this coming Thursday night of our meeting as members. And if you'd like to address them, uh, Sandra is up there in the left-hand corner, and Pamela raised her hand. You want to come up here, Pam? They might ask some questions. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm Pam Stanion. I was born in upstate New York, so I know the mountains. I moved around a lot for my career and then I came and settled here for my last job. And I absolutely love this area. I love this little town. It's where I want to stay and live out the rest of my years. So help me God. <laughs> so um, I'm very interested in what we can do to live together with the environment because people need the environment and the environment needs us. So, and I'm very pleased to have met Ron and gotten a tour of, wow, it felt like Lamoille County, but I, I think it was I just think. Forest Town. <laughs> so, very pleased to be here and nice to make everybody's acquaintance. Thank you. Hey, where else do you live? I'm up on Spring Hill, and it really is a Spring Hill. Today. You should see the little rivers raging through there yeah. right now, um, which is off of, uh, it, it's, Less than a mile from Ron's house. Yeah, it's up nice. that way, lower Elmore. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I gave every all of them a copy of our bylaws, so they're familiar with uh, what we do. Thank you. Sandy, would you like to say something? Sure. Yes. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I moved to Morrisville about um, summer before last with my son leading the way. He had been wishing to relocate to Vermont for many years, mainly for quality of life issues. And um, I, after I became a widow and retired from teaching, I was ready for a new adventure. So I came along with him and we live on Sun Valley Road. Uh, we finally purchased a home after searching for 15 months. <laughs> and we're, we're very happy here. Um, as I say, he mainly wanted to come here for quality of life issues and I, I totally appreciate that, and I'm very um, happy to be in, in this environment and away from the boss wash sprawl, so to speak. Um, and uh, my grandchildren are adjusting very well. We're all really enjoying it here. Um, I lived in uh, an area of Maryland, which when I first lived there 50 years ago was much like Morristown. It was a rural area, mainly dominated by um, ag, agriculture and dairy farming, which um, over time, farmers were selling their land, housing developments were coming in, commercial enterprises were coming in, and sometimes rather haphazardly, let's say. Uh, there were controversies developed and there was a lot of you know, different reactions to that, those kinds of changes, which I see happening in Morristown too, the changes that are coming people are having um, different, different feelings about. Um, at the time, after I retired from teaching, I got involved, so to speak, with some of the, these um, issues as a member of what was called the Environmental Advisory Council. 
It was a council that um, advised the county commissioners on issues that um, affected the environment. Um, ours was mainly, uh, our purpose was to study and um, research the issues, educate the public and give um, our, submit our findings to commissioners for their consideration. Sometimes they agreed with our, <laughs> our conclusions and sometimes they didn't, but we all, we all learned a, a lot in the process. Um, I'm eager to be a member of the Conservation Council and serve, serve this community in the same way, you know, to help preserve the environment. And uh, I've read the bylaws and I, I feel like it's a very worthy organization and I would, I would like to serve on it. Thank you. Thank you. Do we need an emotion, a separate motion for each person? I don't think so. But well, to a, to the point on your staff notes, I have a typo. But yeah. there's two positions open, and there's two different terms. So I'm not sure if there's competition. One of the men's 324, or, 2024, and one's end ends in March of 2025. Um, it's only March usually because that's when towns reappoint many of their commissions. This is 23. You mean it should be 24? Correct. 24. Okay. Yep. Um, so it just, Sophie's true. I mean, it doesn't really matter because um, I don't believe there's a huge number of people fighting for your spot. So whoever gets the 32024 very likely could be reappointed. Yeah. Thoughts, Sandra, Pamela? Which one you might want? They both, they both in 24. 324 or 325. Well, I would hope to serve for more than a few months. <laughs> yes, we hope so too. Go ahead and put me in on the three twenty four, and okay, and, okay. and hopefully you'll still like me. <laughs> okay. Well, I just want to thank thank both of you for stepping up and helping us fill these vacancies. Oh, absolutely. I would make the motion to appoint Pamela Stanya. Yes. To the Conservation Commission for a term ending. 3-2024, and Sandra Zabel right. to the Conservation Commission for a vacancy to end in 3-2025. I have second that motion. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Do I have any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, welcome on board, Pam and Sandy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Planning Council appointment. Is that you, Todd? Sure. Uh, the Planning Council met with two candidates, Mr. Costa and Mr. Morrill, who are both here. Uh, they were equally impressed by both. They decided to recommend Mr. Morrill to you based on the fact that he applied first. So first come, first serve. And he's here to talk to you if you'd like. Sure, come on up. My name is James Morris. I go by Jamie. Uh, I live at 29 Elmore Mountain Road uh, with my wife and three daughters. Uh, I'm a self-employed property manager. I have a background in restaurant management, building and, and project management. My wife is the school nurse at <clears throat> excuse me, Hyde Park Elementary. And my interest is, is really to, to become part of a community where we're forward thinking, we're planning responsibly. That's a place where my kids want to end up living eventually and can live. Uh, and that's my interest in, in being part of the council. Great. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would make a motion to um, appoint Jamie Morris to the uh, empty seat on the um, Morristown Planning Council. I second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Friendly amendment. There's a term. That also is a term. And then 324. Okay. If March, uh, term to expire March 2024. So Todd, at this point, there's only the one vacancy on the planning council, is that correct? Correct, this would give us a full council, which is needed. Thank and the full council is five individuals. Correct, yes. Okay. And um, check me here. Um, how, how is it possible, and is it possible for the select board to request, again, that we have an alternate on the planning council, since we have people interested. Having been on the planning council, and we have people interested, uh, but how, how do we formally do that? 
I will run it by the chairman. We just had that discussion last summer. The council voted no on having alternates based on the fact, unlike the DRB, they have a hearing that night. They're expected to make a decision or make a decision at the next meeting or going to deliver a session. Planning has a general rule, but they don't make a decision at all other than scheduling at the meeting. So if someone misses a meeting, they'll have an opportunity at the next meeting to catch up. So that's why they decided, decided no on alternates because nothing needs to happen like this. In fact, they'd rather be iterative and slow and, and, and uh, and uh, prudent in their decision-making policies. I just hate to turn anybody away that's interested. I'll bug at you again. I'll put it on the agenda and we'll chat with goes. And is, especially because mm -hmm. there's a huge learning curve. Yeah. So thank Mr. Koss is here too. He's agreed to uh, be uh, in the uh, in the on deck circle for us when we need a member next time. So he's okay. going to be on Judy's list for 2024, okay. and the, the board was impressed with him as well. So okay. but we have another excellent candidate if we do need one, which is mm -hmm. great. Excellent. But thank I'll you. ask the alternate question again. Yeah, thank I'll, you. I'll let you know. Thank you. So we have a motion and a second. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, good. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So, Roger is here. Oh, good. He has the phone call. Oh, is he the phone call? Oh, there he is. He's right there. Okay. Richard, did you um, want to vote on this motion? Mm, okay. okay. All right. So motion is, motion is passed. Um, I think you're up next, Todd. Also, we have a road naming. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. The property owners are here. If you'd like to speak with them, we have um, a road going in on Elmore Street. If you know the Yellow House, where I think Kevin Moody used to live, if I'm correct about that. They're doing a three lot, four lot subdivision behind the house. It kind of back will back up to the PA soccer fields. So that's on the left going up. The on the left going up the hill, yes, before water and light. So the uh, the name selected and approved by E91 is uh, Home Acre Street. And that's the request. All right. Okay. Thank you. Would you like to talk to the property owners? They are here. They're in the room or on Zoom? No, they're right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I don't think. Do you have any questions? Have, no. Anybody have any questions? I would, I would make the yeah. motion to accept um, the uh, road name um, for, um, as Homeacre Street, as proposed. So we have home, is it Homeacre Street or Homeacre Drive? It's street. Street, okay. Street. And then one other thing the select board is supposed to do is give an indication uh, if it, you have an interest in this being a public road or this be a private road. I think it makes sense the dead end road, it doesn't go anywhere. They're planning, I've told them to plan on 16 foot wide private road. But if you want to, see, if you see a public interest in this road because it connects to the soccer fields and you want a 20 foot plus two foot shoulder public road laid out here, this is the time to give them that direction for the engineering. Well, it wouldn't be on the agenda and I don't think it was the night actually to do it. But it's part of the process when we do this. It is? Yes. Yeah. But they haven't had any prep for that. Understood. Okay. It's my recommendation. Also, to give a recommendation. I see. Okay. They can go differently. My my recommendation is a 16 foot wide private road. Right. And it, it could always go to public later on down the road if it was necessary. Correct. It's harder to do that though, because they're going to build the road base to 16 feet or 18 right. feet, and they're going to size the stormwater based off the uh, narrow road. If they go to a wider road, suddenly there's not enough road base and there's not enough stormwater. It's really, this is the path in the woods where we diverge. And right. I think yeah. the private road makes a lot of sense here. Well, I, since, just, since we don't take over um, dead end roads at this point, I think that we're going to move forward with this as a private road. Yes. And it would be a private road. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I just wanted to add that. Thank you. Yeah, right. So mm -hmm. do you want to amend your motion at that point? Um, yes, I would uh, amend my motion to say that uh, we're accepting the, the road name, the street name, and that it will remain a private road and be designated as such. Did you? Did who seconded that? We did, we did not get a second. Not yet. I will second that. Okay. Motion a second. Any discussion? Todd, what's the length of the road? Same. Jerry Throne. Jerry Throne. Thank you. I'm Mr. Throne. I believe it's going to be about 300 feet long, somewhere around there. This is a very short road. It just gets the three houses out in the what's in the backyard now. Okay, so there's not a concern for uh, emergency vehicles, fire trucks being able to get in and get out. No, there's the 16 foot wide in the town road policy road is more than adequate. Okay, thank you. Cool. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So the 
road naming has been accepted. Charter committee appointment. Um, Carrie, is this you? It's all of us. Yes. All of us. I'll start. Um, so I spoke, I believe it was in November, about appointing a charter committee. Um, we've talked about it um, at a few meetings, but tonight I'm hoping we can set the slate for the initial charter committee. Um, and I'm recommending that all five select board members may attend and may participate, um, as well as um, you know two to three volunteers at the most um, on top of that group um, on top of the five of you. Okay. Um, it the meeting commitment as as we've said is maybe one a month. I mean, once we get past budget times and some other things, um, you shouldn't have a meeting every single Monday. Um, so anyway, for those that are not at every one of our select board meetings, um, it's about one meeting a month right now and a few public meetings this summer likely. So the recommendation is the entire select board? It is. And we have one employee who's interested? Correct. And we have two members of the public that are yes. interested? So yep. that would be a total of eight. Yes. Um, well, there was one. Brian came in late. Oh, what's that? Yeah, Brian came in here. Brian. There was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Kathy Chapey volunteered if no one else was interested. So. Correct. Right. Um, so, yeah. so that would be nine. I think that's big enough. Yeah. Um, and for the, at this point. Um, and just to remind everyone, it doesn't mean like uh, the initial charter is meant and intended this point due from legal counsel too to be fairly short and brief and to the point you can change it and you can change it each year if you'd like it's just a it's a pretty laborious process the town has to go through this process pub, some public meetings <coughs> then it has to vote on it once it's voted on and approved it goes to Montpelier for approval and whatever committees um, need it if it's just a, if it's a local option tax, they have to go to a couple of government ops to begin with, and and then if it has anything to do with money, it, it goes to the money committee. So, um, are any of these people here? Is it, we uh, didn't read. Yeah, I'm just West, curious. But, yeah, just yeah. for mm -hmm. That's ID. A good question. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I just was right yeah. to put a name to a face. Exactly. Well, just to generate discussion, if nothing else, I'll make the motion to uh, have a charter committee appointment to consist of all five select board members to include Sarah Haskins, the town clerk, and to include Christopher Mokes, Craig Santanello, and Brian Yeaton, Morris Town residents. I would second that. I assume these are, yeah, go ahead. So I guess the, the, we do know these are Morristown residents. We don't. I did not confirm that, but we will. Okay. I can tell you Brian and Chris are on that. Who else is on that? Uh, Craig. Craig. Craig is on that. Okay, good. Confirm that. There we go. Okay. There we go. Confirm. That would be yes. Okay, we have a motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion has passed. Okay, any old business? <clears throat> and Carrie, you organized uh, meetings? Yes. We'll make sure we have contact information. Okay. We'll meet in January. So. Okay. Yeah. We, we should start around January. Um, I don't have any old business this evening, though. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Oh. I don't know. Can you, can you do that if it's not on the agenda? And the old business? I don't know. The uh, budget. <laughs> budget for Morristown. Uh, at our last meeting, the Morristown Conservation Commission uh, made a motion to have on the uh, articles for the ballot a one half cent for support of the Morristown Conservation Commission. And I was hoping that this would be the opportunity to discuss it. Uh, in the past, uh, we have, well, uh, last year it did not pass, and, but the budget did not pass. But there were quite a few people who did support the half cent. Uh, I did not pursue 
trying to do it again last year. Myself, I did not vote for the budget, but I did vote for myself, MCC. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> a lot of people in this town don't even know we exist. And a lot of other communities where they do exist, they do have in the budget, almost annually, uh, monies that come to support their efforts to pursue conservation. Uh, not to track off the subject too much, but uh, last Friday, there was a closure for conservation in this town for 129 acres on the, Marsh, on the Randolph Road. And supposedly the documents are going to be recorded today. This did not cost the MCC any money. Uh, personally, <laughs> I did time to support it. Uh, one was researching the records for survey purposes, but the owner uh, bore the brunt of this particular uh, conservation. On the Randolph Road, it's part of the former Newland Farm that's now owned by uh, Michael Coper. Uh, the plot is recorded. By the way, I would like this board to support the Morristown Conservation Commission. Historically, how did the commissions of the state come about? Okay, so hold on, Ron. I just want to, because it's not an agenda item. I don't think we can act on this. It's yes. really kind of like, I don't, right. I'm not quite sure where we're going, but I want to just stop one second. Right. No, we can't act on, you can't act on it this evening. Oh. I actually thought we were going to have a conversation before we came here. Next week is our, is another budget meeting. And I don't, so yeah. how, I just, he can fit, you can wrap up your comments, but I, you can't make a motion. This our next week. budget meeting is in January. Is but is a, I'm sorry, January. January. Yeah, but is a budget item, and I introduced it as part of the budget. Right, but we're not talking about the budget tonight. That's on the item. <laughs> no. It's old old, business. Old, old business. business can, yeah. old business can come up from anything in the past. And I brought it up. But, okay. but we, cannot, we can't act on it. Well, I hope you take note and put it on the agenda for the next time. And I'll come back. So okay. We meet in January, the first week of January on budget yeah. again. So thank you. Is it the other oh, second? Yeah. The other thing too, Ron, is is that we're going to be having a public um, kind of a public meeting um, up at the high school um, in I think it's January sixth, if I'm not uh -huh. mistaken. Yes. And we've invited all of the organizations to do a presentation up there and i think that it would be nice if the conservation commission participated in that as well because it'd be a good a good way for you to promote and inform the public about your mission that would be good because now that's on the record yeah it is for everybody <laughs> okay um I'm going to approve the warrants. I have a motion to approve the warrants. I'll make a motion to approve the warrants. Second. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Community comments. Anybody want to make a comment? My first. My name is Sheila Tarbox, and I came here actually to thank the highway department for finally cleaning off the sidewalks and the banks that were on the sidewalks. And I hope it continues to be cleaned off. So nobody else has to get hurt like I did. And I'm still hurting. I'm still having to deal with pain. And my head feels foggy one day and the next day it doesn't. So I don't know how long this is going to last. So I'm still seeing my chiropractor and I'm not sure how many more visits I will have to have. This shouldn't have taken someone getting hurt to have maintenance on the sidewalks. And I don't think it's fair for all the stores in town to have people that want to shop there climb through the snow banks to get to the stores. So my hope is that the sidewalks will stay clean 
after every snowstorm and not have to be climbed over or being able to get to their car ever again. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? Go ahead. My name is Tom Flutie. I wasn't going to have a comment until I noticed there is no select board comments. Is there a reason we are not have a select board comment, and is that going to continue? Thank you for that. I was asked, I was wondering that myself. I think yeah. it was just an oversight. Well, I mean, it was it, it was probably my my uh, doing. I I didn't understand the real need for every single meeting to have a select board comment period. Our whole meeting is a select board comment period. Yeah. Um, and if someone has, um, we're all in a learning curve and I'm still onboarding, but each select board member has direct access to myself and Judy. Um, and if there's something that needs to go on the agenda, we can put it on there. Or if there's something that needs addressing, we can address it right away. We don't need to take make the meeting longer and have each person try to fill or just fill five minutes. I mean, we are good. This is for business, business only. There's also a reason why there's no department heads to speak of here tonight because they work and direct yeah. directly report to right. me and then I report as needed to the select board. So. That's a that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, Thank so it's just streamlining things so that people can I, you know they totally. can you still have an opportunity to ask us questions, but yeah. if there's a problem, don't wait till a select board meeting. Please call I, us I know right that too. All right then. Yep. And Sorry. last time I was up here I wanted to thank uh, Jason for the work and we failed to thank you for stepping in as the uh, okay. as the you gotta room. and uh, we waited a long time and we're we're glad that you're here and uh, very anxious to work with you and thank you yeah. thank you very much can i make one comment just sure um, i just want to um because i was appointed to the uh, mooresville developmental uh, development fund um uh, it kind of got um uh, Put, uh, put on hold because of the whole budget thing. We're now up and running, and you will hear much more about it um, come the new year. We'll have you'll we'll give you updates just so we can in case anybody was wondering about that. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. um, anyone else? Yes. Okay. So um, on to other business. <coughs> I would move to go into executive session because I find that premature general public knowledge of a pending contract negotiations will clearly place the town at a disadvantage by disclosing this negotiation strategy. So I have a motion of a second. Second. I have a motion to second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I further move to go into executive session to discuss pending contract negotiations on the provisions of Title I, Section Number 13A1 of the one statutes to include interim town manager Carrie Johnson. Well, second. Second. Legal. And a, um, any discussion? Is this funny? Can you tell us which contracts that we're talking about? It's, it's actually legal. general government. John, it's legal. It's legal. It's a legal. It's yeah. legal, not a contract. Right, sorry. Oh, okay. It's a, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We're mo moving into executive session. Safe travel time, so, everybody. Richard, you're going to be joining us by phone. I was just reading the. Uh... Mm -hmm.